But because of these new discoveries, it also sort of redefines our understanding of the evolution of life and even the tree of life. Because some microbiologists are now thinking that maybe eukaryotes are actually archaea. Or basically eukaryotes are just a group of Asgard archaea that became extremely complex over time. And so in reality maybe there are no eukaryotes, there are just bacteria and archaea, with archaea just becoming super complex and multicellular with time. Now this is just the new hypothesis and it doesn't actually have a lot of support yet, but it's still something that we need to consider when it comes to the evolution of complex life on planet Earth. But what seems to be pretty clear from these new discoveries is that cytoskeleton was potentially essential for the development of complex life. Because one of the main differences between bacteria and eukaryotes is the existence of these microtubules and actins which form this complex cytoskeleton inside. And so the evolution of complex cells probably began with the development of cytoskeleton, which eventually allowed these Asgard archaea to gain more complexity over time. Not to mention it also allowed them to grab things and to capture stuff from the outside using these bizarre tentacles. But because all of this is still basically completely brand new research, and these are extremely recent discoveries from less than 10 years ago, it's actually going to take us years and years to finally come to some kind of a definitive explanation for how all of this came to be. Right now what's clear is that there's definitely a lot of connection between these bizarre tentacle archaea and us. And a connection that cannot be ignored because they might be our ancestors after all. Or at least somehow related to ancestors that used to exist billions of years ago. But until future discoveries and additional studies, we're probably not going to know more. And so once something else comes out, I'll make sure to follow this up with the next video.